Welcome to the third in our series, Searching the Literature in Health. In this video, we're going to take the logic table that we prepared in our previous demonstration and search those terms in the SENAL database. We'll also show you how to limit your results and email and save the res results of your search. Here is the logic table in which we divided our search question into three themes or concepts, elderly people, the flu vaccine and morbidity along with some synonyms for each concept. I'm going to copy and paste those from this, this table into the SENAL database. Just clicking escape now so that we can copy. To get to SENAL from any of our LibGuides, you can go to the Journal Articles and Databases page and select SENAL or from the Library homepage, go to Databases A to Z list and click on C. Log in as needed. The CINAHL search screen provides three different boxes to search in and you can align these to the three concepts that we've already developed. More rows can be added to our search if needed, just use the plus sign. Each search box can be connected by ands, ors and nots. Back to our table. We'll copy our population terms which is elderly people, and in Sinal, paste them into the first row. We could have typed these, I'm just saving time by copying. And the second group, our influenza vaccine group, copy those as well, and into the second box. And again, Finally, the four terms we've got for effectiveness or morbidity, copy and back in Sonal, I'll just back in Sonal, paste that into the third box. I'm also, before I search, I'm going to use some search options. To get more recent publications, I'm just going to go for 2008. And also I'm going to select scholarly articles because SENAL does include some industry publications which may not be peer reviewed. And now I'm ready to click on search. In this search I've retrieved 105 references and here they are displayed 10 at a time. I can alter the page options to include 20 or up to 50 and I can also change the way it's displayed from uh, to date newest if I'd like to see the most recent first. Over on the left hand side in our facets we can also limit further. Down lower we can see what subject headings have been applied the most frequently and also the publications that they come from. If I click on the ones that have the heading influenza vaccine Hopefully they will become uh, more relevant. Looking at the search results, for some articles a PDF will appear. This is because the EBSCO company with which hosts Sinal has sourced the full text. For all others, click on Find It button to source other journals to which SCU Library subscribes. After that, a new tab opens up our library catalogue and searches for your article. You can save selected articles and email them to yourself or export to EndNote. And to do this, we can um, elect to save all of them or individually the ones that we think might be the most relevant ones. and so on. Okay. To the top of the page, we can either go to folder view or to folder here. If we go to the folder view, we should be able to see the ones I've selected. Just tick on select and if you want to export them to EndNote, choose export or to save 
um, it will save just the details of all of your articles, it'll save you writing them by hand, or you can e email those details to yourself. If EBSCO has a PDF, it will include it in the email. So type your email address and put something in the subject line so that you know it's not spam like flu articles. And we also can opt for a citation format of APA. We do advise that you check your APA libguide when reusing as EBSCO APA is not always 100% correct. And then we click on send. To return to your original search screen, we use the back button inside. And again, to demonstrate the benefit, I'll clear that search, to demonstrate the benefit of using Boolean ORs and adding synonyms into your search, I'm going to repeat the search and use only one term per, for concept. So let's just say I put in elderly people and influenza vaccine. And I'll put in effectiveness. Click on search. This search only yields five articles in comparison to the hundred or more we had previously. It's very important to retrieve all relevant papers to get a true picture of available evidence and to avoid using a skewed selection of available trials. So always consider searching with variant tem terminologies. This is the end of our presentation. Thank you for watching. In the next video, we'll look at getting your articles in full text. And in following videos, we will use further techniques with subject headings to improve our searches.